Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are designing this responsive portfolio website from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in this video, we will set up our project and we'll create all the files and we'll also add the links of the fonts and uh, we'll also create CSS variables for the colors. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so this is how the design will look. So this is the complete website. And I have shown you the demo of this website in the previous video. And here I have created this folder called portfolio website and I just opened it with VS code. And let's go ahead and create a new file and we'll just name it index.html. And we also need to have a CSS file. So let's create a new file. I'll just name it style.css. And we'll also create one more file for the JavaScript. I'll just name it main.js. And uh, let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code you have a shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And here we will link our CSS file. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the href I'll just type style.css. And here in the body I'll just link the JavaScript file. So I'll just type script colon src and press tab. And in the src I'll just type main.js. Right now the next thing we will do is we will get the link of the fonts. So if we go back to our design, here we can see we need to have two fonts. One is this font called Railway and the other font is called Inter. So let's get the link of these two fonts. So here I'm in fonts.google.com and let's search for the fonts. So let's type Railway and this is the font. Let's select the font and we need to have two styles of this font. So if we go back to our uh, design, here we can see we need to have the bold version and if you scroll down, we also need to have a thin version. So this is also the railway font. So let's go back and we'll select this thin style from here. So let's click on select this style. And we also need to select a bold version. So let's scroll down and uh, let's find a bold version. I think bold 700 looks fine. So let's select this. Right now you can click on this button called view your selected families. And uh, here we can see we have the railway font selected. Let's also select the inter font. So let's go back and let's search for Inter. And let's select this font right here. And here we will select the regular version. So we'll select this regular 400. And here we can see we have the railway font and also the Inter font. And this is the link of the fonts. So let's select this link. And let's copy and paste it inside the HTML. So here inside the HTML in the head section, I'll just paste the link of the fonts. So I'll just paste it over here. Now the next thing we will do is we will get the link of the Swiper.js library. So if you go back to our design and if you scroll down, here we can see for the testimonials uh, we have this slider and for that we are using a library called Swiper.js. So it makes it easier for us to design this type of uh, slider. Here we can click on these buttons and also drag to go to the next and the previous slides. So let's search for Swiper.js. So you can simply Google for Swiper.js and you'll find this website Swiper.js.com. So let's click on the website. And uh, if you scroll down, we have the information about the website. We need to get the link of uh, the CDN. So for that, let's click on get started. And if you scroll down, we can see that there are various methods of using Swiper.js. We need the CDN links. So let's scroll down and uh, here we can see use Swiper from CDN. So we had to copy this Swiper bundle min CSS and uh, let's paste it inside the head section. So let's copy this from here and let's go back to our HTML and I'll just paste it over here inside the head section. And uh, then we need to copy and paste the link of the JavaScript file. So let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here. So we'll just paste it just before the main JS script. And that's basically it with the setup of our HTML file. Now let's go to our style.css file and uh, let's create some variables for the colors. So here you have to type colon root so that the color variables can be accessed throughout the website. So let's go back to our website and let's see what are the colors we need. So the first color we need is this pink color right here. So we have the color in a lot of places. We have the color over here for these dots and uh, even for the logo. So for all of these, we have this pink color. 
So let's create the variable for the color. So let's go back to our CSS file. And to create a variable, you have to type hyphen hyphen and the name of the variable. Let's name it primary color. And then you have to set the value over here. So for the color, we have a hex value of FF7474. So this is going to be our first color. Let's go back and the next color we need to have is this dark gray color. And then we need to have this dark color over here. So for this color, we will name it gray color. So let's go back and let's create a variable called gray color. And for the gray color, we have a hex value of 23222A. And then we need to have this dark color right here. So for that, let's create a variable called dark color. And uh, for that, we have a hex value of 17171A. Now we need to have one more color, which is uh, this light color over here. So we have the color for these buttons over here. So even for this button, we have the same color. So let's go back and I will create a variable called light color. And uh, for this color, we have a hex value of EBF0FF. So that's it with the CSS color variables for our design. All right, so that's it with the setup of our project. In the next video, we will start writing the HTML for this complete design. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.